Good morning from Champions Gate. I'm actually about to hop into our massive vehicle and drive it for the first time. <laughs> I do get people messaging sometimes asking about driving over here and like if like how I get on with it and I actually find it really easy to drive over here because the roads are so big and then like once you have CarPlay in your car getting around is super easy so but I have never driven a vehicle this big. I drove a huge vehicle when we were in Atlanta and we went to Tennessee. And that was quite difficult actually because we went up mountains and stuff, but this is bigger. This is the size of our massive vehicle. I feel like we need more perspective. We're actually off to Target. We're gonna go to the Target on the 192 and then we're also gonna go to Ulta and stuff. So yeah. I feel like this isn't doing it justice, guys. This vehicle is massive. We've actually got a DVC Moonlight Magic evening event tonight at Hollywood Studios. So we thought during the day we'd just do a little bit of shopping. We made it all right. We are just heading into TJ Maxx. So we've come to the 192 Target. Right beside that then is like TJ Maxx and Ulta. And I think this is the best Target, the one here. So I recommend coming here if you're looking to do your big Target shop. TJ Maxx always has a really decent range of cosmetic brands. Uh, at some reduced prices so it's always worth a look i have actually found these reusable eye masks so cute are they uh eye pads i guess you just put them like in the fridge to keep them cool or you can have them hot either i think this would be so nice in the morning just to take down some puffiness they have some of the melatonin sleep gummies i quite like these when i come here because they just help me get my sleep re regulated because they proper knock me out and then they also help with sort of sleeping longer on the other side. They've got the wet brushes here. I quite like these ones. They're like vented design in this shape. I did try another one that like looked like it was going to be very similar. It was in more of a square design and it just is not the same. The bristles don't have as much bend and give in them. Um, but I really like this design. I think I might actually get this color. Oh, it's a limited edition as well. Um, although they all say that. I'm guessing that's probably why they're here, but they're $5 instead of $8. And I use this brush all the time. Rachel was also telling me the other day that my one needs replacing. Rachel and I love these Tony Moly masks and they actually have a whole pack of them for $10. It says compare at $16, but I've never actually seen the pack of them together like that. And I know in Ulta, I'm pretty sure these are like two or $3 per face mask. And um, so we've got a couple of packs of different ones and then we'll kind of like share them out. Just dropped our bags off in the car. We're gonna head into Ulta now for a quick look around. So now in Ulta, they have the Tony Milani masks and they are between sort of 350 and 375. So that is actually such a steal what we got them for. We've come across now to Target. I don't think mom has experienced Target with Rachel and I in a while, but mom, Rachel goes hard at Target. She likes to see everything. And this is her favorite Target. So it's gonna go even harder. <laughs> have you had in mind? Oh, you have a list, don't you? Is that what you're checking? You're just checking your list. What's high on the priorities, Rach? Apple four, five, and deodorant. Okay. Yeah, Rachel likes um, the deodorant here. We can't get it at home. And then the little aqua four things, I always have those in my purse too. I may have acquired some pumpkins. These little ones are only $1. And then I got this one. This one's five dollars. This like Sherpa one. This is probably the most unnecessary purchase. But look at how cute that pumpkin ice cube is, and I just want it in my life so bad. So um, I think I'm getting this ten dollar pumpkin ice tray. I just can't. I can't put it back. I just can't make myself do it. And then we also got our favorite pajamas. These are the, it's like something stars. Stars Above is the brand. I show these every time we come to Target. They are just so good, they're so soft. I always buy a new set when we come. But this time I actually decided to also get the matching dressing gown. And I just can't explain how soft this is. So it's $30 for the dressing gown. And then the set, this is the trousers and top set, it's $27.99. I think the shorts and top is even cheaper than that. Oh, and I also got a pumpkin plate. <laughs> Shopping done. We're heading into Panera Bread now to get some lunch. Rachel loves the soup here. I actually quite like it here too. They have some nice sandwiches and stuff. Have a look at the menu and decide what I fancy. So I thought I'd take you into the Star Wars room in our villa so I can do a little haul of all the stuff I got in TJ Maxx. 
Um, I always hop straight into my pajamas when I get home. <laughs> it's just like, I do it at home, I do it here. Like, I just love being in my pajamas. So if I have some time that I'm gonna be chilling for, like for a few hours and stuff, I get straight into my pajamas. Rachel always thinks it's a bit weird. I just do it all the time. Let me know if any of you guys do it as well. <laughs> I just love being in my pajamas. Even more so when it's these nice Target pajamas. I think I showed you all the bits from Target when they were in my trolley. So I'll just show you uh, the TJ Maxx stuff. I got this really nice shirt. It's so light and so soft and it's got zebras all over it. It's perfect for like an Animal Kingdom day, but also just think it's really nice anyway I've kind of gotten into like these sort of like light shirts and wearing them over shorts and a top or even like leggings and a top and that was $20 then I got these gorgeous slippers they are real thick memory foam material they were only $10 yeah and they've got like the solid bottom on them as well which I appreciate I got some socks. These socks are so nice. They have them in Adidas at the outlets, but they're actually cheaper at TJ Maxx. And they were $10 and I got two different packs. This is just a mixed color pack. And then this is a black pack. I was looking for the regular white pack as well with the black Adidas symbol, but they didn't have that one. I got those iPads that I showed you. Got my sleep pills. They were $8, the melatonin, well, jellies, not pills. And I got this cute little toy for Pumba. It's actually like a really hard ropey ball underneath there. That was $4. There's those masks that we got. Rachel's just giving me in five from the pack that she had. And then I'll give her five of this and five of this. We just share them out. Also got this hairspray because I've heard really good things about it. Um, Jessica Braun that I watched, she always recommends this one. $10.99 instead of $18 so got that got my wet brush I really like this color and that was five dollars and this like headache relief miracle cooling thing because nothing makes me feel better when I'm sick or when I've got a headache than to have a like cold compress on my head it does look a bit dramatic doesn't it <laughs> and it's quite heavy like but honestly I just love this and Rachel actually gets migraines so she got one but then I just thought I'd give it a go as well I think it was like $15 or something yeah $15 then I didn't show you this in Target this is a Brita water bottle and it has a built-in filter it's just really nice to have if you are filling up your water bottle in the parks because it's going to filter out a lot of that horrible taste that you get in the park water fountains especially at magic kingdom why is the magic kingdom water the worst and you're gonna go to my friend all the way to your right okay you'll get your vouchers and map over there Awesome, thank you. We are here at Disney's Hollywood Studios for the Disney Vacation Club Moonlight Magic Evening. We are inside the park. It is currently 9.15. The park closed at 9. But I think Fantasmic may have just finished. And the DVC event starts at half 9. So it's obviously going to be super busy while everyone is leaving the park. And that kind of half an hour lull then is just to let them clear the park out before they start the fun of the evening. We have got our snack credits. We get three each and I've got my park map here with all of the different things that are going on with the evening. We are coming into Toy Story Land now. There's hey, already Marcus, people. If you see Slinky Dog, tell him Woody says howdy. All right, keep an eye out for Slinky Dog. <laughs> um, there's people already lining up for character meets, but we're actually gonna go and head on Toy Story Mania. It's only got a 10 minute wait right now. Turquoise. <laughs> you can see they're checking the wristbands as they're escorting people out of the park. They'll also be checking the wristbands now here getting onto the ride. All right, change of plan. We're coming to Alien Swirling Saucers. Toy Story Mania jumped up to half an hour and it's definitely going to drop down later. So we'll come here while the wait is super low. <laughs> I love this area at night, it's so cool. I'm feeling some rain drizzles. <laughs> I'm hoping that's just gonna be like a little passing shower. 
we actually silly of us did not double check the weather today like we checked it earlier but you know how it changes all the time in Orlando um, I do have a little disposable poncho with me but hopefully we don't get rained out tonight I really want the Fantasmic show to go ahead I haven't seen Fantasmic gosh in like I actually can't remember <laughs> like maybe seven eight years <laughs> So much fun, and it's so yeah. much more intense than it looks. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, mom and dad are gonna do all right back there. <laughs> 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 Hello, Hello. Smugglers run with a wait time of 15 minutes. I have a feeling it's going to be less though. <laughs> so one thing we have to be conscious of is making sure that we use up our snack credit. Now some of the things that I like to get here with the snack credit, <laughs> probably the worst time for me to try and chat to you guys. So they're saying, <laughs> some of my favorite snack credits are the popcorn that you can get here in Star Wars land. Fresh popcorn for any fresh popcorn stands. The funnel cake is a great use of the credit as well. And pretzels. Also the Jack, Jack, Jack cookie num num. That's a really good use of it too. If you're a fan of the Star Wars milk, that's also a good one. Anyway, we've got a ship to pilot, some coaxial to collect. Definitely looking like it's gonna be less than those 15 minutes advertised. Looks like we're pretty much walking right into the pre-show area. Oh, look who's up there, look. <laughs> we just stopped into Pizza Rizzo to get churros. We got churros and chocolate sauce and that was two of our credits. We're now going to catch up with Mom and Rachel. They've gone to get fresh popcorn. They do have some stands around that have popcorn in boxes, but it's not going to be freshly popped, obviously. So if you want the freshly popped, make sure you go to the popcorn stands. So Mom and Rachel have gone to the one that's out in front of Mickey and Minnie's. And then we're going to head to Fantasmic.
strong imagination, huh? <laughs> Okay, so I didn't really get to explain what happened there. We ended up rushing for Fantasmic, but they have a special show in up Fantasmic just for tonight, just for people attending the Moonlight Magic event, which means obviously it's going to be really quiet. I'd say the whole theater was maybe a third full. Uh, we arrived right as it was starting and got to enjoy the show with our popcorn. So we picked up some fresh popcorn with our voucher. We also picked up some churros. They weren't the best actually, they just weren't fresh. Um, and then, what else did we get? Oh, we got our ice cream. So ice cream is actually unlimited. They have the premium bars and the sandwiches. And sometimes they have ice lollies as well. And um, they are all included. We also have a DJ playing out in front of Mickey and Minnie's. We're now just actually gonna get some drinks. So unlike the after hours, which is the paid event, um, you don't get un included your bottles of drink, but you can use your vouchers to get a drink. So that's what we're gonna do. Now I'm always really bad at actually remembering to explain this, but this event is for Disney Vacation Club members only. And in order to attend, you have to actually book a slot. So they release the slot at specified times, depending on whether you're staying on site or off site. It's usually an absolute scramble to get tickets. It's crazy. In typical Disney fashion, they use virtual queues that don't work and crash and all this sorts of things. So, um, it's a bit of a gamble as to whether you can actually get a ticket or not, but when you do, they are such a fun event. And it's free! And there is no backlog of queue in here, so it's super quick. Ah, I love these nights. I like not waiting for things. I just love that intro show. It's so cute. I just love this song so much. It gets me so excited. And especially when you're at one of these like nights because everyone's like dancing around and stuff. It's just fun. Here's our Loki motive. Hi, picnickers. Told you nothing was gonna go wrong. <laughs> you moved. Lotso is out meeting. We are back in Toy Story Land. We're gonna go on Toy Story Mania now. It has a five minute wait, which is perfect. Oh, Bullseye's out as well. They do a good job of having some different characters out. We saw over by uh, where Mickey and Minnie normally meet, which is like on the way to Star Tours. They actually have Donald and Daisy in their fancy outfits, which looks so cool, but it had quite a long wait. Right, let's go on Toy Story Mania, five minutes. Are you ready? Are you ready? That's the question. Mr. Potato Head is awfully quiet today. It is now quarter to 12, so 11.45. And we have about 45 minutes left of the party now. I think the plan is just to do this. Oh, you're gonna sneeze. <laughs> Our plan is to do this, then get some more free ice cream. Get a Mickey premium bar this time. We are a competitive family, so this is gonna be fun. I won! That's my score, that's Rachel's score. That yeah, it's a whole percent more than mine. <laughs> that was fun though. My arms though. Like, I wish I could do it again, but I can't. Yeah. <laughs> that's the problem, I feel like after you do it, you could actually do a really good round. It's just that your arms won't let you. <laughs> <laughs> last ride of the evening is going to be slinky dog it says 10 minutes but we've seen some empty rows so i think it's going to be a walk on oh have i got chocolate on my face <laughs> we just had a premium mickey bar oh gosh these nights are so fun but i have to say the combination of like having an ice cream going on a roller coaster you ride. <laughs> um, I'm sure it has some interesting consequences. But this has been so much fun. It's such a lovely perk. Like, I really hope they keep them up. I hope we have some more next year. We got so lucky with the timing. We are back out in front of the Chinese Theater. They have some like proper night lighting on, so it's very hard to see them afraid. But this is the fresh popcorn stand that we went to, the one that's just right by these restrooms. 
And then this cart here we found very good for getting like your drinks and things. But yeah, I think once we're done now, we're gonna head out. It's actually 12.25 and the party ends in five minutes. We're just heading out now. Did we all have fun? Yeah. Great evening. Yeah. Yeah, I think everyone enjoyed it. We're all a bit knackered now. A bit tired. Yeah. Legs are sore. We've done too many steps. And it is very late. <laughs> well, we're into a new day of steps now, so we can't really tell. I was on about 11 or 12,000. The walk on is great. Right, yeah, the, the rides are great. Yeah. And the show. Yeah. And the show, yeah. <laughs> oh, we're just very slow. <laughs> Why are you snorting? <laughs> I think we're a bit delirious. <laughs> Have you had anyone tell us, ma'am? <laughs> no. <laughs> not anyone tell us? Absolutely nothing. No? Had a great evening, Karen. Yeah? Mm. Anything you want to share with the group? <laughs> that was such a fun night. We really enjoyed it. And actually, I think overall as a night, it was more enjoyable than some of the paid nights that we've had. Like the parties and stuff just because the numbers are restricted more and the rides and everything are really quiet the bits and pieces going on around the park the lines aren't too crazy so yeah it was just a really really fun night and we had so much fun i hope i get to do another one in the future thank you guys so much for watching let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below and i'll see you in the next one bye <laughs>